Hi, my creepy crawlies, and welcome to another edition of Digging Deeper. I am DL Memphis, your mildly psychotic retro glamour ghoul. As you may recall, a couple of episodes back, several episodes back, I did a review on the Elvira, Mistress of the Dark ring from Sweet Romance. Well, evidently that caught the attention of a local fan and artist who wanted to see what I would look like as Elvira. I think I'm doing pretty good at this. How about you? I participated in an Elvira photo shoot and sent in several photos for him to pick from so he could actually do a proper portrait of me as Elvira. The package arrived just the other day. I am so excited and now we're going to unbox it. Oh, whoa, whoa, wait a second. Problem? You know what the judge said. I thought that was about swords. Give it. <sighs> Evidently, I can't play with medieval weapons, swords, large knives, anything that could cut limbs off. <sighs> My artist friend who did this portrait for me, his name is Jonathan McDaniel, and he is known for doing fantasy art and cosplay portraits of cosplayers in character. As soon as Jonathan starts his progress by drawing the eyes, he immediately starts posting images of his characters on social media, and he has a fan base that follows him and tries to guess who it is. Now, of course, some of us already know, and it's fun to watch what people are guessing. Now, I will say this, Elvira was picked up almost immediately. Jonathan has drawn portraits of me in the past, as well as everybody's favorite Cupid doll as Wednesday Adams. But now, let's open it up and see what it looks like on the inside. How do you get to the inside? You usually don't have a problem getting to the insides. Don't I have stagehands for this? Can't afford them anymore. I'm gonna play with this later. So, so this is the portrait of Elvira that Jonathan did of me, um, starting with the eyes and I'm just curious, what do you think? I absolutely love it. I think he did a great job capturing not only myself, but also the Mistress of the Dark. So I'm loving this, wonderful. One of the things that I wanna point out, the, the most distinguished feature of this entire piece to me is always the eyes. Um, he spends a lot of time working on the detail and clarity of the eyes, and that is usually what most people recognize that are friends of the cosplayer first, because he has a, he has a real gift in capturing the eyes of the person he's drawing. Now, if you get in close, you can see that there is shading on the lips and gloss on the lips. Didn't forget the beauty mark actually even has the ring. And I mean, just look at the detail on the skull. I continue to be amazed and just absolutely blown away by his talent. If you're looking for a gift, a unique piece, something to give a friend that will be cherished forever, I'm going to put his information in the link below so you can contact him and have him create a very unique one-of-a-kind piece for you as well. I don't want to say how much he charges, but I will say this, you will be absolutely amazed at the minimal cost in comparison to just the detail in this glorious piece of art that is perfect for framing that you will receive on the other end. It is very well worth it. I would like to thank Jonathan McDaniel again for this amazing special piece. I am going to take it out immediately, get it framed, and find a place of honor in my home for it. And that's it for this episode of Digging Deeper. If you enjoyed this video, be sure and hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, I'll ignore that court order. Until next time, pleasant screams! Where did you get that? I'm not telling. So the cops showed up at my house again today. Really? Yeah, they said, this is a bust. I'm like, damn right it is, and shut the door in their face. <laughs> I told you I'd get this later. Did you really just, oh my God.
like looking in a mirror.